Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So I've made a decision. Um, a few months back, when I got real sick and my pain level became so completely unmanageable that I couldn't sit and read cards for a solid hour or better without having to stop and, you know, get up and walk around. Um, I put a couple of readings that I did, you know, a couple times a week on the back burner just because of that. Well, I'm hoping and praying that I've finally gotten my illness to a point of manageability where I'll be able to do this again. So we're going to give it a shot for a couple of weeks, see how I do. And I will just do the one. And if I do well with the one, we will start doing both. So here we are. We're going to call this one the weekly top and bottom of the deck. Fair enough. Okay. <sighs> Those of you who have been hanging around for a while know how I do this. I go by the elements. Okay. Real quick, short, sweet, to the point. Whatever zodiac sign we happen to be in at the time is the element that I start with. We're in Virgo, so I'm going to start with Earth. We will go around the wheel accordingly. Same deal. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. And if it does resonate, doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign element, if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. And we're not dealing with the person or situation that you're dealing with necessarily. It's whatever energies come out. I, I'm reading for y'all. Okay. If somebody pops in, somebody pops in, but I'm not going to grab specific energies for a specific person or situation that you might be dealing with. I'm just reading for you. So time and energy are both fluid. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Fair enough. Okay. And as always, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading because it's just a terrible idea. If it's going to completely fuck your universe up, if you take the advice of a deck of cards, I suggest that you don't take the advice of a deck of cards. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for you. Okay. If it gets real, um, you might want to go inside and figure it out. Okay. Faith, stop running your mouth and start throwing down some cards. Okay. I will invoke each deck as we go. All right? Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for our Earth elements, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down, hanging out. I'm grateful for the gift that I've been given. Please help me use this gift to bring our Earth element friends to their highest possible spiritual good for the week and put them on their highest possible spiritual path for the week, at least for the week. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, what's going on? All right. Overall for the week. Aw, four of swords, six of cups. This is slightly depressing. You might be letting something go. Oh, man. Somebody you've been kicking it with for a minute, but you're, you're, you're resting after a heartbreak this week. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is where you're going to be at, like, Monday. Okay? <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday. What's Wednesday, Thursday looking like? We're doing for a full week, so... Six of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay. I feel it. All right. Well, well, the Six of Swords is the, is the card of crossing the trop, choppy waters. Might be sp steered or led by someone, possibly. There's three people in the boat. Might be a family situation involved. There, there is a mother and a child, so take it however it resonates, but... I see you finding fulfillment. I see you with this Nine of Cups coming to peace with it. Making peace with it. 
Okay. All right. What are we looking at for like maybe next weekend? Okay. Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. What's up with that? Trying not to have to get clarity, <laughs> but I'll get clarity if I have to. I don't like that Seven of Wands. I mean, rising up, finding your independence, absolutely. We're going to get one on the Seven of Wands. I'm not going to clarify all of them. I'm just going to get one on the Seven of Wands. A little clarity, please, from my Earth sign friends. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Just a little bit of clarity. Universe, let's let one fly. Let one fly. Hermit. Going inside. Finding the light. Walking the path. It ain't going to be a bright one. But you'll rise up. You'll find that inner light. You will rise up out of this. It's going to take some time. It's a good... It's the healing process. It's the healing process. Okay? Okay, friends? Okay. All right, like I said, we're not gonna like, short, sweet, and to the point, okay? Non-specific as possible, okay? Earth sign friends, enjoy. About a week from now, hit me up. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. You can always email, leave a comment. Let me know what happens, all right? Give that a quick shuffle. Tuck it away, put it to bed. Oh, gosh. Brain fart, earth, air. <laughs> I do that a lot, I'm sorry. I have little brain farts every once in a while, for those of you who are new here. It's probably all the caffeine or the fact that I, I average roughly um, four to five hours of sleep a night, if I'm lucky. So, I have a lot of, I have a lot of shit going on. I, I do full-time job, family and house that I have to take care of. We're in the process of completely rearranging this entire house and I, I'm, yeah, my life is chaos, but it's manageable chaos at this point. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who wanted to pop out? Nine of swords. I'm going to put it back in. Nobody freak out. Some of you some of my air sign friends might be like all up in their head about something. Speaking of not sleeping well, right? Speaking of not sleeping well, somebody not sleeping well? Don't do me. I do me better than anybody does me. Don't try to do me. Don't, don't sit up and worry about stuff at night. Don't do that. Rest. Air sign friends, rest. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, any messages you have for my air sign friends? Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Help me use this gift that I have been given that I'm eternally grateful for to bring my air sign friends to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days. I just realized I didn't look at a calendar, but I'm not going to stop and look at a calendar now. So the date will be posted in the title. Fair enough. Source knows what I need. All right. Source always knows what we need. Six of wands and the devil. What the shit? What the shit? I feel like you're achieving victory over something you've been bound to. I gotta get clarity on that devil. I might have to get clarity on both. I don't know how I feel about that. 
Five of Swords, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is this. Uh, it's a sticky week, isn't it? Mmm, sticky week. That's victory at a cost. Releasing of a burden. King of Swords and the Fool. Logical head over heart decisions. New paths, new ventures. Clarity, please. Universe Source, Spirit Gods. I need clarity. I need clarity from my Earth sign, friends. <clears throat> a couple of these cards, a little sketch. A little sketch. I need to replace my Witch's Tarot. It's getting a little, a little worn out. All right, let them fly. Devil. Why the devil? Four of Cups. Attention. That's not victory, that's attention. Either you're getting their attention or they're getting your attention. Six of Wands, Four of Cups, attention. Somebody's going to hand somebody a cup. Oof. Oof. Oh, gosh. The six of Wands decided to come out before I even asked the question. And it was reversed enough for me to take it in the reverse. This, You're finally going to get someone's attention. Somebody you might be a little obsessed with. Super weird. Yeah. Okay. Super weird. But, 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 go down. Why is the Five of Swords here? Ten of Wands is releasing a burden. I don't need to clarify that. What's the Five of Swords doing here? The Ten of Wands is releasing a burden, getting something off your chest. Two came out. The Fool in Strength. Victory at a cost. Leaps. Trust. 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 The fool trusting the path. Strength. Trust. What does that have to do with the battle on the beach? Victory at a cost. One more. reversed it's been going on for a minute it's coming back around you have their attention they have your attention it's coming back around arguments Fighting, squabbles, getting things off your chest, the comeback around. The avoidable argument that could no longer be avoided. Doing what's best for you. One more. One more. Queen of Swords of her. Did you see how she flew the fuck out of there? Did you see that? She just flew. 
It's like, ha ha, you're cutting somebody out of your life. And I don't think they're going to take too kindly to it. But you have to trust the process, trust the path, trust yourself. Any business that is unfinished, maybe finished, the burden will be released. This is something that's been hanging out for a while that's finally going to... End of the week. King of Swords, logical and over heart decisions. The Fool, new paths. Just give me one. Eight of Swords. For the love of God, please, air signs. Why? Why? Please don't tell me this is going to be your energy in a week. Because this has been your energy the whole time. If you were the one obsessed with this person or situation. Please no. Please no. Do you, but please no. Logical head over heart decisions. New paths, new ventures. One on the Eight of Swords. Did I get a flipper? No. I try to make this a judgment-free zone, but when I see shit like that, it gets real hard. I'm a mom by nature. I just am. High priest. Teacher of life lessons right here. Right here. You're supposed to learn something from this little thing that's going on. And I think you're supposed to learn to not get all up in your head about shit. That you need to make the logical head over heart decision to keep guard over your heart and guard over your energy and move forward. They might not take too kindly to it. They may be a little bit obsessed back. You're tied and bound to this person, whatever it is. And sometimes when we pull away or start to pull away from something we're tied and bound to, they feel it and then they start chasing after us, even if they've been ignoring us for a minute. The Nine of Swords came out. Don't be all up in your head. You need to let go of this eight. Take the lesson. And don't let it turn into the nine. It is possible to cut something out before it gets to the ten sword. It, it really is. It really is. Release the burden before it becomes painful. Okay? Okay. I've said my piece. I've said my piece. All right. Water. Put my toys back. Uh put my tools away. I got to get after the boys all the time. I do. They get in my toolbox. I, I, gosh, when we got the old couch out of here, I found three screwdrivers underneath the couch that I had replaced because I thought, okay, they got thrown away. They got lost. Okay. They've been under the couch the whole time. <laughs> when you get rid of a piece of furniture, you find the damnedest stuff. Let me tell you. All right. Water signs. But they never put the, they never put my stuff away when they're done playing with it. Three freaking screwdrivers. My son, my ten year old, he's had this little habit of taking his toys apart ever since he was like little. When he, you know, I sh never should have taught him how to use a screwdriver. I swear. Because now he takes things apart and he loses my stuff. Anyway, water signs. I'm gonna shut up and read cards. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days, Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels. Can I get messages from my water sign friends? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days. Next seven days.
they're saying stop. But I'm going to make it do it one more time. There we go. <clears throat> Five of Cups reversed, four reversed, Ace of Swords reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Page of Swords reversed, High Priestess reversed. I don't care if the freaking deck's upside down. That's how they came out. That's how they're getting read. All things happen for a purpose and a reason, even when I just grab a deck the wrong way. Just go with it, guys. Just go with it. Coming out of a state of sadness. Walking away from the river of tears, not jumping into something new right away. Process. Nice. Okay. No new start, no energy being given. I don't like that. I don't like that high priestess reversed. Water signs, why y'all gotta make me into bad news, Betty? Why y'all gotta do this to me? I do see... It's either communication is still gonna be cut off at the end of the week and you're gonna get a little bit egomaniacal about it, possibly. Or the person you're dealing with, I mean... I say it's your energy, but let's face it, all things can be vice versa. Somebody's going to go out on an ego trip, either because communication isn't happening or y'all said or heard something you didn't want to hear. Okay? Fair enough. Clarity. Clarity for my water sign, friends. A little bit of clarity. I gotta know, universe, I gotta know, I gotta know, full reversed. That's why you ain't jumping. Ten of Pentacles reversed. All the, all the cards are reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Page of Wands upright. Could be dealing with someone new. Possibly a fire sign. Don't necessarily have to. But you're walking away. You're walking away from the sadness. You're not going to jump. It wasn't abundant. It wasn't abundant. You're not going to move into something that isn't abundant. That isn't in line with your dream of what you want for yourself. But you're processing the sadness. Okay. Okay. Toward the middle of the week. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Five of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> Somebody may miss you and may want to come in out of the cold. But you're like, no. No, you know what? No. No. I'm not putting energy into this. It's not abundant. It's not in line with my dreams. It's not in line with my goals. It's not what I want. It's not my thing. Ace of Swords reversed. Sometimes you gotta give people bad news and sometimes you gotta tell them stuff they don't wanna hear. High Priestess, Four of Wands. You know what isn't isn't good for you. 
You're going to be led and guided by your own intuition to the stability that you want. Oh, it's another fire card. I mean, it might mean something, might not. I don't know. But it's the celebration card. It's the foundation card. You know what you want, and it's not whatever this is. You're not jumping. You're not jumping. You're not putting energy into it. I think this shit's all them, though. <laughs> Why is the High Priestess reversed here? Hierophant! Another lesson learned! Another lesson learned! Empress reversed. It's not going to grow. You know it's not going to grow. You've accepted it. One more of this high priest is reversed. I don't think they have. Two of wands reversed. I try not to tap into the other person or situation, but they're stuck at the crossroads. This almost feels like a, what's wrong with me? I don't want to let you go. I want to be the world you're going toward. It's not your world, water signs. Please don't. Do you. By all means, do you. But if... For Pete's sake. There's three parts of you that speak to you all the time. There's your head, your heart, and your intuition. Some of us have four parts, but we're not going to get into that. This is the one you need to listen to because this is the one that's going to lead you to the path that you need to go down. That's the best for you. But do you. By all means, do you. This is a lesson learned. One in this page of swords reversed. I'm feeling like this is bad news, Betty. <laughs> Seven of swords. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They are. They're going to come back and be like, but, but. And you're like, no, no. They might come back having a little bit of an ego problem, but, but, and you're like, no. Sometimes you got to give people bad news. But if it's for your highest good, do you. Sometimes you got to break hearts. And it sucks, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do it. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now that's a man who knows what he wants and goes after it. And he doesn't play with this Ten of Pentacles reverse shit and Seven of Swords shit. He doesn't play with it. No. He's not into it. He's into this stability. Stability. Foundations. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. <clears throat> All right. Fire. Fire. Fire! There, I said it. You're welcome. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days, please. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days. Thanks for playing along. I appreciate you. Help me use this gift to bring my fire sign brothers and sisters to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, next seven days. Wheel of Fortune on the Three of Pentacles early in the week. Could be today, could be tomorrow. Some's closing out. New foundations are being built. Closing out and coming together. Okay. 
<clears throat> King of Swords, Six of Cups. Honest, head over heart conversations with soulmates. Possibly someone you've been kicking it with for a minute. Possibly someone you've kicked it with a long time. Possibly somebody you kicked it with in a past life. I mean... And these two hanging out on a spread it together tells me that it might be karmic. And y'all know how much I hate threes. Better hope to God another three doesn't come up on this spread because... Big Mama Sag might lose her shit. Okay. Oh, man. Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, fire signs. Might get a little chilly. You're turning away for something or something is turning away from you. Either you're leaving somebody out in the cold or somebody is leaving you out in the cold. Somebody might have air in their chart. Somebody might have earth in their chart. Closing out to new beginning is hard. You know what? Shut up and get clarity. You're overthinking it again. Universe, Source, Spirit Guides, Clarity for Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, Chariot. This person could be at a distance from you. There could be emotional distance here. There could be travel involved. Somebody could be deciding to steer the chariot where they want it to go and not somebody else. I mean, let's see if it comes back out. This is the one we shuffle, cut, and let fly. So we're just going to shuffle, cut, and see what flies out. I didn't ask a question yet. I'm going to put it back in, but I'm going to see. Five of Pentacles came back out. Might be a long, cold winter for somebody. I don't know. Or a long, cold week. One of the two. Let's see what comes out. Again, I didn't ask a question. Can we wait for me to ask a question? I'm putting it back. Five of Wands reversed, avoiding conflict. End of conflict. Three of Cups reversed, disconnects. All right, ask a question. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Another three came out, just, just for reference. Could be a third party involved. I don't know, but why is the Three of Pentacles here? Oh, now you're going to get quiet? Three of Swords reversed. I fucking hate threes. <sighs> Closing out of a cycle, the building of foundations, the end of heartbreak. It's not bad. Why is the wheel here? Page one's reversed. Could be another fireside involved. I got water, I got air, I got earth. That's a fire sign. That's messages. A decision might be made to stop speaking to someone, close out a cycle, build foundations, end to heartbreak. Okay. One in the King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Someone is going to make a head over heart decision. Logic. Using logic. That's the brain. 
so we're all aware. But I want to be single for a minute. Work on their independence, work on them. That's fair. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Doggone it, it came out again. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Been a long cold winter for somebody. Change. Fives are change, not ends. So, something is in the process of changing. Ace of Cups reversed. fire signs, I hate to say it, Some somebody may get ghosted by the middle of the week. Get ghosted, get dusted, and somebody's going to decide they want to be single, be independent, work on them, not concentrate on love. Alright, toward the end of the week, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Sometimes he brings apologies. That's spun on the table. We're going to take it in the position it's in, because I haven't seen it yet. Ten of Wands reversed. Can't end a burden. Eight of Pentacles reversed. There's nothing to give. Can't put the energy into something. Something they haven't released. Something they haven't let go. Can't put time, energy, or effort into it. Someone may, apology, may apologize for not putting energy or effort into something. You could be dealing with multiple people. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I got I got two threes and a page and a king. You could be dealing with multiple people. So, why is this last five of pentacles here for the fire signs? Nine of swords reversed. Well, that's typical fire sign, isn't it? It's over. It's done. One more. Just trying to put it out of your head and put it out of your space. Nine of wands upright. Up goes those walls. Or rise up wounded warrior and fight again. Wow. Let me know. For real. Let me know. <sighs> I'm a fire sign. I wonder if this is how my week's going to go. I don't know. Well, in all actuality, um, any one of these readings could very well resonate with me because my sun is in fire. My rising is in air. My Venus is in water. And my moon is in earth. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. I love you. Take care, be blessed, have one hell of a week, and we'll see how this goes. If I'm feeling good Thursday or Friday, I might do a weekend one, but I don't know. This one's good for seven days, so we'll see how everything plays out, all right? Just take care of the know that you loved, be blessed, and I'll catch you later.